July of 1981, a Swedish engineer, Ove Larsson, took out a patent on a new Robert Arm guidance system. The idea was ingenious in its simplicity. By connecting a number of ovoids by tension cables, an arm was achieved that was rigid yet very flexible. The spine robot has grown out of Ove Larsen's invention. The robot consists of three components, the robot itself, the computer system, and a hydraulic system. The arm of the robot can reach upwards four meters and straight outwards in all direction 2.5 meters. The spine robot has seven axes of motion. The seventh is unique, the ability to roll its elbow in all directions. You'll be seeing many examples of this feature a little later on. The shape and sophisticated mobility of the spine robot make it ideal for all types of spray painting jobs that require a robot that can reach inaccessible spots. The robot takes up little floor space and is easily installed in any existing spray booth. The computer's feedback teaching system allows an operator to check that the robot's actual motions correspond to what it was programmed to do. The robot's computer can also interface with other computers and processes. The computer also has a tracking system program, which enables the robot to work on moving objects when it was programmed on a motionless object. The hydraulic unit supplies the power to the cables in the arm. At the beginning, we worked mainly with various spray painting applications, but it goes without saying that the spine system will find many new automation uses in other industries as well. Let's pay a visit to Spine Robotics demonstration booth and see how the spine spray system paints various car bodies and components. First, a BMW body. We'll be seeing only a few sections of an entire program painting sequence. The robot begins by spraying the inside of the motor housing. Notice that the conveyor never stops in its forward motion. Speed, 2.5 meters per minute. Spraying speed, approximately 8 tenths of a meter per second. The robot then proceeds to paint the hard to get at surfaces on and around the door and door opening. The arm twists and turns smoothly to always reach the best spraying position. As soon as the front door is completed, the robot proceeds to paint the back door and door opening. The robot arm is both thin and flexible. This enables it to reach out of the way spots easily. It can even spray from inside out. When the trunk is to be painted, the robot doesn't wait for the conveyor to move up. It stretches out to reach the trunk and begins painting without having to wait. In this way, the spine robot gets more done as the body moves past. The robot takes up so little space, it can easily be installed in a standard spray box. The spine robot is ideal for all types of spray painting jobs that demand access and reach. The rear axle of a truck, two meters from hub to hub and equipped with a big spring package. Since this is an initial accessibility test, no paint has been used. One single spine robot is able to reach 95% of the axle, a job that normally requires two robots, one on either side. Here, the robot is painting the interior of a Volkswagen transporter, a job that no other robot can do. 
Painting the interior of vans and trucks is in fact one of the jobs where automation is especially welcome, since traditional booth ventilation has little effect inside the body itself. The robot enters via the side door and begins by painting the front, the ceiling, and the floor, according to the program it was taught, using a motionless body. Once again, the body moves at a speed of 2.8 meters per second, and spraying speed is 8 tenths of a meter per second. In order to make the whole process visible, we have filled the spray gun with water instead of paint. As the spine has a reach of 2.5 meters in every direction, it gets nearly everything in one operation. It can bend 180 degrees and paint towards itself. When the side door opening is passed, the robot moves in through the back door and continues painting. There, it gets the surfaces that were hard to reach through the side door. It also paints those hard to get at corners in the door opening and on the door itself. And the job is done as only a spine robot can do it.